This is the cheapest over the air digital converter PVR box I could find. I paid $36 for it online. That's Canadian money. And we're gonna test it out today, see how it works. And just to clarify my thumbnail, it's $25 American. Okay, so out of the box, this is what you receive. You get the manual, set of RCA cables, remote, and the unit itself. It's a, you know, reasonable size. It has several buttons on the front for basic functions, USB for PVR recording. And on the back, you've got an antenna in, antenna out, HD out for your HDMI cable. You can switch channel modulation, three or four, if you're connecting it to an older TV. And you've also got uh, RCA cables for composite and component video. So that gives you a little bit of flexibility in terms of connecting it to your television. And this has an integrated power cord, so no power supply units to deal with. Time to time I read reviews on these types of uh, products and people complain that they overheat sometimes. There's a very thin layer of plastic that is tightly sealed to this. It's almost invisible. And uh, that blocks these vent holes here. And now these are important because the unit has to be able to dissipate heat. So take the time and peel this thing off. Okay, here we have it installed at the uh, TV. I got all the plastic off and it doesn't look too bad. The uh, remote's a little on the small side. It's connected with an HDMI cable for the best possible picture. And I've got my antenna connected to it and it's an outdoor antenna that I'm using. So now we will turn it on and run a channel scan. Here we are at the uh, menu and this is the screen you'll see when you first power up the unit before you've made any installations. So we're gonna use the English language I live in Canada, and we'll do a channel search, hit OK. I should warn you, I only get three channels over the air, unfortunately. That's why I have to use free satellite TV. And I've got lots of videos about that on my channel if you're interested in learning more. Here at the TV, if we press the OK button on the remote, we get a list of all the available channels. And we'll exit out of that. And click the Electronic Program Guide button, EPG. And that gives you a more detailed look at current and upcoming programming, along with a description on the right side. And if we head back to the top, we can use the left and right arrows to shift through and look at what's coming up on other channels. Some channels display more information than others. That's just the way it is with over-the-air television. And pressing the info button brings up a uh, signal quality meter on the bottom of the screen, which is really handy for aiming your antenna. Um, and it's just nice to see what kind of a signal you're getting. And it displays it for each individual channel as well. And there's a front slot for the uh, USB drive for over-the-air recording. This is the message you get when you insert a USB drive. To record, simply select the channel you wish to record and press the record button on the remote. A message appears on screen and then in the left corner you see the counter begin. When you wish to stop recording, simply press stop on the remote 
you get a message asking you if you want to stop recording and click OK for yes. Retrieving the recording for playback is pretty simple. Press the menu to bring you to this main menu. Use the arrow keys to scroll over to the USB drive. Press OK. Press OK again to select multimedia. And select the PVR option. And your recording should be stored in this folder here. And there's the recording we just made. Press the OK button to play it. And the yellow button on the remote is a hold button. If you push that, it gives you a full screen playback. And then to stop, simply press stop and use the exit button on the remote to back out of the menu. And this DTV box also gives you the option to set a timer for recording a program. And you can access this menu by hitting the timer button on the remote. And then using the number keys, press the number one to add a scheduled recording. Select the channel you want. Let's say, for example, I want to record on this channel. And let's uh, say I want to record at uh, eight o'clock tonight. And I'm just using the number keys to dial in the time here. And let's say I wanted to record from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, using a 24-hour time, of course. And I want to record it once, and I want to record it. And all I have to do is press OK to confirm that. And now there is a scheduled recording for tonight at 8 o'clock. And if I change my mind and want to delete that, all I have to do is press the number 3 button, and it'll ask me, are you sure you want to delete this? And I'll press OK. And now that scheduled recording is gone. People often wonder what the HDMI button does on the remote control. Well, that's used for selecting the best video resolution for your viewing needs. But that option is only available if the PVR is connected to your TV with an HDMI cable. Overall, this DTV box worked as expected. Generally, the operations were smooth. The only issue I noticed with it was it was a little bit laggy accessing the PBR recordings from the menu, but even that only took an extra second or so. So for $25, it's probably worth uh, looking at, especially if you need, say, another PBR box for a secondary TV in the house or if you're looking to try out over-the-air antenna TV but don't want to spend a lot of money to begin with.